This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, uh, I did a couple of videos on the AMD WX7100 card, okay? I did a video on the uh, unboxing of the card, I did an install video as well. And then for the third video, I thought I would talk about, you know, how it performs and how it works and so forth. So kind of a review. Now, the problem is that there, first of all, are a bunch of reviews already online that are way, way better than anything I could ever make because I'm as technical as a doorknob. But besides that, I want it to contain information that's important for 3D artists, okay? So if you are into AR, VR, 3D modeling, and so forth, what are you going to look at? So instead of looking at all the technical details and comparing them side by side, what I did is a, a render using the... Um, the plugin provided by AMD from Maya, uh, and it's called uh, Pro Radeon Render, if I'm correct. I'll just put the link here. And then, uh, in comparison, I used Mental Ray. Now, that by itself is already really tricky because that's comparing apples to pears. But I'm going to use Mental Ray with my uh, GTX 1080 card, and I'm going to use the AMD plugin with the AMD Pro Radeon WX7100. Okay. So we'll see the comparison in uh, render time. Uh, we'll look at the quality. I used Lambert, default Lambert overall, default lighting overall, tried to get it as close as possible, okay? So we're gonna look at that and then we're gonna look at some more details and my final conclusion, okay, here we go. Okay guys, well looking at that render, the conclusion is basically that they are pretty close together. Um, but that said, you know, it's extremely difficult to compare two different uh, render engines with two different cards. But like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm looking at this as a user, okay? I'm not looking at this from a technical asp aspect. There are a bunch of tutorials online that will give you all that information, okay? So, if these two are so close together, what would I choose? Well, I lean towards the Radiant card. And uh, there are a couple of reasons for that, and I kind of noted them down while I was uh, you know, testing the card. But basically what it boils down to is that the, uh, the NVIDIA card is a game card, okay? Now, that's great if you're into games, uh, but that also means that it's optimized for games, okay? Now, I use the card professionally, I use it for 3D, uh, sometimes for AR and VR, and I want my card to work with a lot of different applications. You know, I work in, in Maya, in Mudbox, and a bunch of other uh, 3D programs, so I want it to work, okay? Now, the cool thing about the Radiant card is that it's uh, application certified, okay, and optimized as well. Now, that's obviously a good thing. Uh, I haven't tested it with all applications yet, but so far so good. 
and also from a warranty standpoint it has a uh, three-year uh, limited warranty and I think you can get an optional 70 years um, extended limited warranty as well I think that's for retail cars but I'm not sure well uh, one other thing that is very important is 24-7 technical support now I uh, I love the the GTX card it performs uh, very well uh, but the thing is when I have an issue with that card and I'm working on a project for a client or whatnot I cannot afford to wait you know I need to have a fix immediately because you know it's my livelihood that's how I make my money right and uh, you know um, the Radian or the AMD provides that for the Radian Pro all right so let's see what else um, as far as drivers are concerned um, you are probably aware of the um, the uh, Nvidia experience I think that's what it's called the app that is uh, delivered with the Nvidia card that optimizes your drivers for use with uh, th certain games and uh, as I don't play games I want to have the uh, drivers regularly updated and uh, specifically for my use now um, they do that quarterly so that's good okay and um, probably most important of all gaming cards follow game development so you know every time you buy a new card there's basically a new one in the shop okay now the product life cycle for a radiant pro card that is used professionally because of the way that the technical support and warranty and everything is set up has a much longer life cycle so you don't have to go out and you know swap cards and buy new cards every few months okay so that all said, um, you know, both cards great uh, from a professional standpoint, um, my choice, and again, that's a very personal choice, but my choice would be the Radiant card, okay? So hopefully this uh, little uh, video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, I will uh, surely uh, answer it if I can. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.